everyone does the tap dance. Maybe two, three times a year. Oh, so don't get no idea. I swear, her tail's a menace. Perfect. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the farm. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like her. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Yeah, I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever words, I hear. I could get you, Katie. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my drinks out there. Well, let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. I, uh, kind of a big deal. Wow. Set out of town. Acadia is above the fog. Heard some of the drags got themselves up. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this for the road. Case foul sin. But it'll help. We need to move through the main Old mountain trail is where we're The fog ain't like nothing you see in the common. Mainlanders say the dose of right away is all you need.
still got a ways to go. Big ones. They can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them. damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rat worshiping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Who's she? One of them children of Adam Preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures. And instead, seek the only true master of this land. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you? Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. On second thought, I'm good. So be it. But I would be mindful where you step. After all, you are in Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. The gate is not too far now. Katie 
has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. I got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear. Get some rest. <laughs> Just make sure if you bring in a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? I can handle things from here. Good luck in there. And I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? Think of worse things to do. Damn fog got with a key. skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling, but I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here, and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question, and the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. 
I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <laughs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? I'm part of a group that helps since the railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost, I know how frightening it is, the risk of capture, but sacrificing what you are Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? Ideals aren't gonna protect escaped since we do what we have to. I know that's what you think. I just... No. No, I shouldn't judge. I'm over here, far from the Commonwealth, in relative safety. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps the war in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. I'm worried. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk 